Hello everyone, my name is Lance Zurich and I'm the product manager for the Fisher Technic Division here at Studic Inc. And today I'm going to talk with you about how you can bring STEM concepts to your elementary classroom with the help of the new Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM 1 and 2 sets. Now these two sets are designed as an ideal hands-on method for making technology fun and easy to understand. And they include standards-based cur classroom curriculum, especially designed for Fisher Technic by noted educator and STEM expert, Tom White. So the big question might be, what is STEM? Well, most of you uh, on here probably understand that STEM is, of course, an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Now, these days, it seems everywhere you turn, someone is talking about the importance of STEM education. And the reason for this is simple. Demand for scientists and engineers is expected to grow at a rate far exceeding any other occupational field, while at the same time, not nearly enough students are pursuing careers in these areas to meet this growing demand. Now, how big is the STEM demand? Well, consider this. The United States Department of Commerce projected that in the decade leading up to 2018, STEM occupations would grow by 17%, compared with 9.8% growth for all other occupations. Now, this graphic, which I just found recently, has a different set of projections made for the period of 2010 to 2020, which made even more dramatic predictions. Now, this may not sound or look so bad on the face of it, but to put it into better perspective, think about this fact quoted by J.D. Chesloff in his Education Weekly piece for March 5th of 2013. Across the country, across all occupations, there are 3.6 people for every one job. But in STEM fields, there is one person for every 1.9 jobs Employers can't find the talent to fill these jobs, which is even more surprising considering the U.S. Census Bureau recently reported that the median salary for engineering majors was the highest of any profession. Now, as Cheslov went on to state, supply is low and demand is high. There's a mismatch between projected future jobs requiring STEM skills and the projected supply of qualified workers to fill them. Now, this same need was voiced by the Bipartisan Congressional STEM Education Caucus in their report on the importance of STEM education. They determined that STEM education is necessary because it helps to provide the scientists and engineers needed for future development, it provides the future workforce with the skills required of a high-tech world, and it builds the foundation for scientifically literate voters and citizens. Now, as such, STEM education isn't just a matter of personal development to enable students to land the best paying jobs, it's really also a matter of national security. On every level, the world around us is changing at a dizzying pace. Now at the risk of being redundant, STEM education helps us, both as individuals and as a nation, to understand and keep up with the rapid changes in technology. Changes which in turn are altering the demands and the scope of industry, and obviously, if we as a nation are to keep our stature and position on the world stage, this requires us to keep pace with the rapid developments occurring around the globe where countries such as China, India, and Dubai are making major investments in state-of-the-art infrastructure. So, we could obviously find many more examples of why STEM education is important, but what isn't always so obvious is when is the best time to actually begin exposing students to STEM? Now, most often we see students in middle or high school getting involved with STEM via programs uh, focused on robotics or chemistry, things like this. But many experts believe that by waiting until this point in the student's education to explore STEM, we're really missing a great opportunity. With STEM education, beginning earlier is better. In fact, the growing consensus is that STEM education should begin early in a child's education. Consider this quote from a brief entitled Nurturing STEM Skills in Young Learners, Pre-K-3, to posted on the successful stemeducation.org site. Young children are avid STEM investigators. They're eager to explore and invent. Spend five minutes with a three to eight year old and you will find field an astounding array of questions as their own natural curiosity leads them into STEM inquiry. For example, how can we all get a fair share of these cookies? How can I make my block skyscraper real tall, but not fall over? How can that log float on top of the lake? Isn't it heavy? Now, young children are also the earliest adopters of technology. 
grabbing for cameras, smartphones, and other tools as soon as they are able. Now in another article in US News and World Report titled, STEM Education, It's Elementary, Anthony Murphy, the Executive Director of the National Center for STEM Ed Elementary Education at St. Catherine University in St. Paul, Minnesota wrote, as a high school life science and university professor, I have come to realize that we need to begin STEM education early with our children, certainly in elementary school and possibly even younger. In a blog post entitled Early STEM Education from the WeAreTeachers.com website, Aaron McPherson elaborates on this idea. Too often, STEM education begins with a disjointed introduction to engineering and technology concepts starting in middle school. And while any exposure to STEM is good, research study after research study on STEM education has shown that kids who experience STEM early through hands-on learning are the ones who will be best equipped to develop a strong understanding of STEM concepts as they get older. Now, part of the reason students who get exposed to STEM earlier can be more su successful is because of the development of EF, or executive function skills. Now, skills that fall under this category include such things as organizing information, staying focused, strategizing, planning, and exercising self-control. Now, according to that previously mentioned brief, nurturing STEM skills in young learners pre-K to three, although experts view executive function skills as key to school readiness and success, a high percentage of pre-K to three teachers don't really know or understand their role in early learning, and they need tools and training to help them foster these children's skills. Now another working paper titled Building the Brain's Air Traffic Control System put together by a team of researchers at the Center on the Developing Child at Harvard University says that executive function, EF skills, play a pivotal role in children's early and later STEM learning. The paper states, in math and science class, children learn theories and have been able to make sense of abstract representations. They have to connect how they understand things now or connect how they understand things now to the new theory they learn, and this requires them to make conceptual changes. Children who score higher on EF tasks make those conceptual changes faster. So, if so many experts agree that the earlier children are exposed to STEM, the better chance we have to tap into their innate curiosity that they have about the world around them, and to develop the habits and ways of thinking that can help lead to future success, well, why aren't more schools addressing this area? Well, here are a few of the reasons we hear most often. First off, time available for new subjects is limited. There's a need to address the current academic standards. STEM tools can be expensive. Many elementary teachers are generalists and they're not really science or STEM focused. Or teachers may lack confidence and feel anxious teaching STEM subjects. So what's the answer? Well, if the need to expose students to STEM early, as many of these are experts argue, is a real one, then the answer is obvious. We need to provide educators with tools and solutions that, first, fit comfortably within existing class activities, next, address the most current standards in place, tools that are affordable, that can be easily used by teachers of all backgrounds, whether it's science-based or otherwise, and tools which provide a clear guide for the teacher to easily and confidently conduct all the activities. And this brings us to the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM series. Now these two sets are the newest members of the Fisher Technic education family, and they are designed to be affordable and easily scalable, standards-focused curriculum-based tools for introducing STEM concepts to students in grades two and above. So what is Fisher Technic? Well, to provide you with a bit of background, Fisher Technic is a flexible and innovative construction system. Now, unlike other popular construction sets designed to simply stack, Fisher Technic was created with more of an engineering mindset. The core building block is unique in that it allows attachment from all six sides, thus it allows for limitless design possibilities. Now, many of the parts slide together to lock in place and the hundreds of different parts available also help to address very specific design needs. 
Fischer Technik was created in the 1960s by German inventor Arthur Fischer, known for countless innovations used in the construction and automotive industries. Now, if you've ever used a nylon plug in conjunction with a screw to help securely anchor a heavy object to a wall, similar to the one that you see Mr. Fischer holding uh, to the left of the screen here, well then, you have him to thank for it. Now, I'd also like to mention right here that Fisher Technic was the very first construction set to offer students the ability to build and program their own robots using the original pre-Macintosh era Apple computers. Now, the new Fisher Technic introduction to STEM sets were specifically designed as the entry point for the whole Fisher Technic education family. Now, almost since its inception, Fisher Technic has been used by middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities around the globe to explore STEM-related concepts, things such as re uh, robotics, renewable energies, mechanics, pneumatics, and so on. Now, Fisher Technic has also been used by numerous companies, including Porsche, Daimler Chrysler, and BMW, to name but a few, for industrial simulation and training purposes. Now, as such, more than being something students may use for only a year or two in their development, Fisher Technic is designed so that students can grow with it. As students progress through their academic careers, they can also progress through the levels of Fisher Technic education solutions which are available. Now, as mentioned at the beginning, the curriculum material for the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM series was created by a man named Tom White. Tom is a noted educator who's been involved in STEM since the 1970s, designing programs for educational institutions and industry. In fact, as an expert in hardware and software integration, Tom was pivotal in introducing CAD, CAM, control systems, digital control, additive manufacturing, and other topics like this to the classroom. Now, currently, Tom is involved in the second year of the STEM-focused Southern Regional Education Board's Advanced Careers Program, which launched in 16 states in the fall of 2014 and will expand even further this coming year. Now, Tom White built this elementary curriculum around Fisher Technic because he believes that Fisher Technic is the ideal construction set for a STEM-focused curriculum program such as this. The nice thing is the materials can be used and reused. Things that are built can be taken apart and reassembled into something completely different. This makes it much more economical than purchasing an expensive piece of equipment that might be used for, let's say, one or two experiments or projects and then put on a shelf until the next semester's class. And it should go without saying, it offers limitless creative opportunities. Now, the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM sets are designed to engage and inspire students in grades two through five. These sets provide educators with the tools they need to help young minds understand the technology they see around them every day. Both sets allow students to explore and learn how things work by integrating hands-on projects and important standards-based curriculum into a single classroom solution. Each grade level focuses on different models with a series of small hands-on projects that can be inserted into class activities, and in most cases, they can be completed in 45 minutes or less. The introduction to STEM sets are designed so that the hands-on projects are integrated with the standards-based curriculum. The curriculum, of course, is designed to specifically address the very latest standards in place, not those of 10 years ago. So this includes things like the next generation science standards, as well as college and career readiness standards for both literacy and mathematics. Now the nice thing is everything you need is included. From all the parts needed for building the various models, the detailed step-by-step -step instructions for building each model, as well as rubrics for student assessment, student worksheets, teacher answer, sh answer sheets, guidance on using the unique Fisher Technic system, and other supplemental materials. These sets are designed to be both very affordable and easily scalable. Each set can be used by teams of two students at a time, and of course, all the materials as we mentioned are fully reusable. Students can build each model in the set, perform, perform the various exercises, then simply take it apart when they're done and they can use the same pieces to build the next model. Now on that note, let's take a look at the first set, which is the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1. This set is recommended for use in grades 2, 3, and 4. It's designed to provide the pathway for introducing STEM concepts by allowing students to explore the technology behind some of the simple machines they might encounter in the real world. 
and to help them understand how these machines actually work. Now this first set contains 500 Fisher Technic pieces, all packed in a convenient and sturdy Gratnell storage box. Each set has detailed, standards-based curriculum created especially for Fisher Technic by Tom White, as well as a full-color 170-page pictorial assembly manual that guides students step-by-step -step in the building of all 10 models addressed in the curriculum, as well as an additional 30 models for a total of 40 different models in all that can be built with this set. Now here's a list of just some of the essential STEM concepts that can be addressed using the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 set. Things like simple machines, cause and effect, energy and matter, structure and function, stability and change, obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information, energy and motion, how energy is transferred, systems and system models, analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations, designing solutions, and much more. Now, let me share with you some of the models that students will build with this set as they work through the curriculum. Now, our goal was to provide models which, that are fun and engaging, but which also offer ample opportunity for learning. Now, here we have a model of a quad runner vehicle. And this is used to help students learn about predicting motion as speed and direction, and a wind turbine to help them learn about transforming energy. Next, we have a track recovery vehicle with a winch to study simple machines and the transference of force. A beam balance for understanding about weight and mass, a milk foamer or hand mixer to allow students to explore and understand how gears work, a C-clamp for further exploration of how gear systems work, and a ventilating fan for learning about pulleys, and there's uh, many more in here as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, besides those models addressed specifically in the curriculum, this set also enables you to build an additional 30 models, and among these 30 models are such things as a manual transmission, a centrifugal governor, and a block and tackle. Now, let's move on to the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 2 set. Now, this set is designed for use in grades 3, 4, and 5. This set continues the exploration of STEM and technology through examples found in the world around us, but this time focusing more on automation and thus allowing you to introduce students to fundamentals of robotics, and programming or coding. Now, this set contains 200 of the Fisher Technic pieces, and it also comes packed in a handy Gratnell storage box. Included as well is the Fisher Technic Robo LT controller, which acts as the interface for the various robotic models that will be addressed, and a copy of the Fisher Technic Robo Pro Lite software on disk. Now, Robo Pro Lite is a graphic programming software that utilizes icons and a flowchart style design. It makes it very easy for students to grasp and to begin programming models on their own. Now the introduction to STEM 2 set also has its own detailed standards-based curriculum which was designed to accompany it. Now I should also mention here that as we are working with software and robotics, unlike the first set, this set does require a PC for all operations. But what's nice is that these same computers can also be used to power the various robotic models, as the Robo LT controller itself is USB powered. And so no additional power sources are required and students won't actually have to plug anything into a wall outlet, just into their computer. Now this set also includes a full color pictorial assembly manual with instructions for building all nine of the robotic models addressed in the curriculum as well as three additional models. Now, as an added bonus, there is also a multi-language teaching and activity guide that is included with each set, and this contains additional exercises that you can include in your classroom activities if you so wish. Now, once again, various essential STEM concepts are explored, some of which, which were introduced in the first set, and some of which are unique to the STEM 2 set. This, of course, includes such things, again, as simple machines, electrical fundamentals, an introduction to Ohm's Law, motor fundamentals, an introduction to coding, matter and weight, cause and effect, systems and system models, developing and using models, 
structure and function, stability and change, energy and motion, how energy is transferred, analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations, designing solutions, and of course much more. Now again, let me share a few of the automated models that students will build as they work through the curriculum. Now first here, we have a windshield wiper simulation. Then we have an automated sliding door, such as you might encounter in your favorite supermarket. An amusement park merry-go-round and a refrigerator simulation. Now at this point I want to shift our discussion to the curriculum itself to show you how it's laid out and share some examples of what it covers. Now what you see now on your screen is the cover page of the curriculum for the introduction to STEM 1 set. For the sake of simplicity, the examples I will share with you in the following slides will be drawn only from the STEM 1 curriculum. Now that being said, both curriculum pieces while of course covering different material, share the same essential design format. Now the first thing I want to mention is that the curriculum itself comes in a PDF format. It's not included in the box itself, but it can be downloaded directly from the studica.com website or the fishertechnic.biz website. Now the nice thing about this is that it helps us to keep it up to date, so if any revisions are made over time, you can simply download the latest version as it becomes available. Now here you see the contents page for the STEM 1 curriculum. The first section of the curriculum, which you will see highlighted here, contains a brief introduction to the STEM 1 program. This section also directs you to links to special supplementary material that will help bring new users to the Fisher Technic system up to speed, and this includes such things as how to identify the various parts used, learning how the parts are put together, and building a simple model. Now going back to the contents page, you'll see that we now have the student section of the curriculum highlighted. In here, the material is all broken down by the specific grade level it applies to. For each grade level, three to four models will be built for teaching about different concepts. Instructions for each model are included which can also be found in the printed assembly manual included in each set, as well as activities and worksheets for each. Now this slide shows some of the, one, of the, uh, one step of the building instructions for the beam balance. Now as you see, all the parts required for each step are clearly shown, as well as the quantities of each required, and the assembly of these parts is clearly diagrammed as well. And over here is an example of a worksheet pertaining to a model, in this case the beam balance we were just discussing, and students are asked to perform different experiments and record their findings. Now here's another example where students use a Venn diagram to define the similarities and differences in the components they're working with. Now returning to the contents page, let's look now at the teacher-specific content contained in the curriculum. Like the material in the student section, this is also broken down by grade level. Each grade specific section includes an introduction which outlines the expectations for what the student should learn and be able to demonstrate an understanding of after completing the exercises contained here. The various standards to be addressed in each section of the curriculum are clearly spelled out. Again, please note that these standards include career and college readiness standards for math and literacy, as well as the next generation science standards. Learning targets are listed. The relevance and rationale between, behind these exercises is clearly stated. And the formative assessment criteria for success is spelled out. Now this is followed by a summary section with links to all of the student activities and worksheets, a list of resources and materials, and also a link to the parts list and instructions for each model. Now following this is a section where each of the standards outlined previously is discussed in more detail, as well as the options for how the teacher can go about helping to address the standard. Now this might be done by having the students perform an experiment or an activity, by working with one of the models, or engaging them in a class discussion, to name just a few examples. 
Now this section is written in such a way as to provide the teacher with a certain amount of flexibility as opposed to having a rigid format that must be followed. Teacher versions of all of the worksheets are also included. And these, of course, provide some background on the purpose behind each activity, as well as guidance for assessing whether or not the students have effectively answered the questions put forth. Links may also be included to optional web-based material, as you'll see there, that the teacher may choose to share with the students. Over here we have an example of how that Venn diagram we looked at earlier could be completed. Again, this type of material is included for each model specifically addressed in the curriculum and for each grade level being addressed in either set, whether the introduction to STEM 1 or the introduction to STEM 2. Of course, we also include a rubric for assessment of student performance. Now, in total, the curriculum PDF for the introduction to STEM 1 set contains 133 pages of material. And the curriculum for the introduction to STEM 2 set contains 196 pages of material. Now, I should also mention that right now we are working and providing online teacher certification for both the introduction to STEM 1 and STEM 2 sets. We hope to announce complete details of that in the very near future, and I just suggest that you watch the studica.com and fishertechnic.biz websites for more information. Now, to recap, the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 set includes everything you see here, a total of 500 Fisher Technic parts, along with full-color, step-by-step instructions for building up to 40 different models, all carefully packed in a sturdy plastic Gratinel storage box. Each set, as I said before, is designed for use by teams of two students, and the cost per set is a very affordable $99 each. That means that if you have a classroom with, let's say, 20 students, you can get enough sets to cover everyone for under $1,000. And of course, if you contact us directly for a quote, you can get that cost even lower when you purchase in quantity. Now moving right along, the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 2 set designed for introducing your students to the fundamentals of robotics and programming contains everything you see here. 200 Fisher, Tec uh, excuse me, 200 Fisher Technic parts, including graphic programming software and the RoboLT controller, as well as a full-color step-by-step assembly manual for building up to 12 different robotic models and a multi-language activity guide. Once again, all packed in that sturdy plastic Gratinel storage box. And as with the first set, the Intro to STEM 2 set is intended for use by teams of two students at a time. And the cost per set is also very affordable at only $199 each. Now this means that you can introduce a classroom of 20 students to coding and robotics for under $2,000. Now that's of course a phenomenal value, but once again, contact us directly for a quote and one of our dedicated educational representatives will be happy to provide you with quantity discount pricing. Now, this brings us back to the curriculum we've been discussing. Now you're probably wondering, how much exactly does the curriculum cost to use? Is the cost calculated per student? Is there a classroom discount? Is there a recurring annual fee? Well. Here is how it breaks down. The curriculum for both the Introduction to STEM 1 or the Introduction to T STEM 2 sets is absolutely free when you purchase either set in any quantity. There are no user fees, there are no annual fees, there are no maintenance fees, and there are no hidden costs. Once you download the curriculum after your purchase, it's yours to use in your classroom this year, next year, and hopefully for many years to come. So with this in mind, let's look back at uh, the Fisher Technic Education, or introdu Education Introduction to STEM 1 set, again for grades 2, 3, and 4. You get everything I just mentioned, including the curriculum, and the cost for each is only $99 each. And with the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 2 set, once again for introducing students in grades 3, 4, and 5 to the fundamentals of robotics and programming, you get everything we just discussed previously, as well as that detailed 196-page curriculum. And again, we emphasize that's free curriculum, and the cost per set is only $199 each. So what's the next step? Well, you can get a quote. You can request a certificate for attending this presentation, which I know many of you wish to have for PD purposes. 
or you can request a PDF version of the latest Fisher Technic Education catalog, featuring not only the introduction to STEM sets, but also all of our other great products, including our STEM Fundamentals line, focusing on topics such as green energy, physics, electronics, pneumatics, and much more, our complete robotics line, and also our line of automation and simulation models. You can do all of those things by simply sending us an email with your name and complete school information to either info at studica.com or stemlab at studica.com. If you'd like to have the opportunity to examine the complete curriculum for either the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 or the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 2 set, you can, you can download, you can access one or both of these simply by going to the URLs shown on your screen now, www.studica.com forward slash hyphen STEM hyphen curriculum, or for the second, www.studica.com forward slash intro hyphen STEM hyphen two small eyes hyphen curriculum. And just simply by going to those either of those URLs, you can register and download your own copy of either of these curriculum pieces absolutely free of charge or any obligation. On the other hand, if you're ready to purchase or you'd like to learn more about the introduction to STEM 1 and 2 sets today, as well as all the other great Fisher Technic education pro products, if you'd like to be able to download activity booklets and other Fisher Technic related information, or if you'd like to view some of the great instructional videos we put together, then simply go to the URL you see at the bottom of your screen now, www.studica.com forward slash Fisher Technic hyphen education. Of course, if you prefer speaking with an actual living, breathing person on the phone, you can connect with our, your own dedicated educational representative and request a quote by calling us directly. The number in the United States is 1-888-561-7521. And if you're in Canada, you can call us at 1-800-561-7520. Both numbers are, of course, toll-free, and we're in the office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And in case you missed it the first time, here are our email addresses once again to request quotes, catalogs, certificates, and what have you. Info at studica.com and stemlab at studica.com. So before we end for the day, let me just uh, open up the phone line, see if anyone has any questions. Uh, you could also, of course, feel free to type them in the chat box, which you'll see on your screen. I will wait a minute. Okay. Well, great. Well, on that note, thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day to attend this presentation, and we look forward to hearing from you. So have a great afternoon. Thanks for attending.